not that long ago. Uh, what, what do you feel like you can grow on specifically from, from that weekend and going on the road and playing there? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, they're coming back from playing, you know, at Ohio State last weekend. So, you know, the pace of the game that they're familiar with will be high. And, uh, you know, they've got good goaltendings. They defend well as, as well as anybody in our league. So, you know, if you're going to create scoring opportunities, you have to be willing to, similar to last weekend, where we have to manage the puck well in the neutral zone. You know, we hear that phrase a lot. But, you know, certain teams that defend well, you really have to do that because uh, similar to Mankato where, you know, they generate their offense on line rushes into the offensive zone, so they're trying to create turnovers in these certain areas on the ice, which is to their advantage, and Duluth is no different. And they're a veteran team. They've got, uh, you know, two real good goaltenders, and, uh, you know, it'll be a challenge this weekend. So I'm looking how, you know, we respond to that and, you know, how we are able to manage the puck in both the games up there. Cassie's on a pretty good run right now and just in terms of scoring goals. What, what stands out to you about this? stretch she's on and just how, how difficult is it to repeat game after game kind of do what she's been doing as a freshman yeah i think uh, you know as i look at it uh, it's you know a freshman that's coming in that's you know got a lot of good skills and then you know how quickly can i get comfortable within our league and so you know probably some of the growth that we see is evident of, of the experiences she had you know the first three and a half months of the season where you know, she's been at Ohio State. She's been at Minnesota. Uh, you know, she's had some really solid games. She's obviously at Lindenwood. She scored a bunch of goals one night. And so that experience that, you know, she's had the first half of the season is now starting to give her confidence that, hey, I can play in this league. You know, obviously I can score some goals. But uh, some of the things that we talked about with her yesterday was, you know, that she's getting better at is, you know, working in her own end competing against stronger players, uh, you know, because you're playing against upperclassmen. But uh, the nice thing I see, you know, and Potter's no different. Some of the other freshmen, they've starting to grow. They've developed, uh, they've gotten better, and now they feel more comfortable. And the big thing is they're going on the ice playing with confidence. What does it tell you as a coach to be able to see her get in that mindset and find that growth throughout the season, especially now that you get to the, to the important stretch? Well, it's, it's, it, to me, it's trusting, you know, the process that she's going through, similar to some of the other freshmen uh, that we've, you know, had this year, the ones we had last year. And so, you know, the, the growing prior part of it, uh, you know, is good. It, it, some nights it's hard. Uh, and that's part of, you know, do I trust, you know, what's, what, what the coaches are doing with me? Do I trust, you know, what I'm able to do on the ice, knowing that, you know, every shift's not going to be perfect, every game's not going to be, you know, great. Uh, but, you know, through some of the adversities, some of the mistakes I've made on the ice, some of the games that I'd like to have back, those are when you grow. And uh, if you don't have those, you're, you're probably not going to grow as quickly. And so some of the games we've had up to this point have given those kids an opportunity. They're getting ice time. Uh, you know, we've had some injuries. We've had, you know, a, a shorter roster than we'd like to as coaches. But it gives them an opportunity to go out there and play the game in our league. And as you well know, our league's you know, challenging. It's tough. There's no easy games. And so the more experience I get, the more chance I have to grow. And so you know, whether it's you know, Cassie or Potter or some of the other young players that we have, you know, that's part of trusting the process that in order to get better, I have to have these experiences, whether they're good or whether they're not good. Casey had a five-point weekend. With that, she passed 150 points for her career. What do you think that milestone means to her, and what have you seen, you know, from her growing from the time that she stepped in here to now? Uh, she's yeah, she's been probably one of our most consistent players over the games we've played up to this point. Uh, you know, I had a nice conversation with her after the Merrimack. A series where you know I think the second night she probably could have scored three four five goals and some nights the pucks goes in other nights it doesn't but if I'm getting chances eventually that catches up to you and you the puck starts going in and so you know last three or four games you know she's played at a real high level uh, she's gotten rewarded now because of her consistent effort and you know as she goes and as she continues to play well that just makes us a better hockey team uh, and so uh, I anticipate, you know, the next 10 games of the regular season, uh, you know, she's going to play the way she's played most of her career. And, uh, you know, some nights it's going to be one, two, three goals, two, three, four points. Other nights, oh, my gosh, she should have had this or it could have been this. But, you know, that's all because, you know, she's committed to, you know, trying to become the best player she wants to become. Uh, and, uh, you know, she's one of our leaders. Uh, 
And, uh, you know, when she has those nights, you know, then we become a little bit more challenging. We're tough to play against. And if she's getting two or three or four points, you know, I think our team's going to have success. No, we uh, we saw uh, things change pretty quickly, especially uh, you know in Layla. I mean, she was you know if not our best forward, one of our best forwards Saturday. Uh, if you watch the game and, and you know each shift that she you know participated in, you know she wanted the puck, she won her battles, uh, she got rewarded with a shorthanded goal and uh, did a lot of little things that uh, that we had you know expect now from her. And so uh, we saw you know an immediate response from her and from that line. And, uh, you know, obviously Britt is a, a, you know, a very consistent player for it. She does a lot of little things. And, you know, you put her with KCM Sims and you're going to create something. And so all of a sudden, you know, Casey has a, a four-point night and uh, has an opportunity to, you know, do really good things. Uh, and so, yeah, we saw a response. Sometimes you just have to change things uh, when maybe things aren't going the way you anticipate them going. And, uh, you know, that's what we decided to do. You know, we did it in part of, you know, Friday's game, but more importantly, we stayed with that change and, uh, you know, gave the players a different look. And, that, you know, it, it's just the players, you know, whether I'm playing with Sims or whether I'm playing with Casey or whether I'm playing with Eden, with Layla. I mean, it's like you got to play and, uh, you know, play with the players that are on the ice and do the things that we expect you to do and you expect of yourself to do. And it's irrelevant for who you're playing with. If you're doing those things, you know, that line you're playing with is probably going to be playing pretty good. Coach, you've probably been on a million bus rides, give or take. I mean, this one was the most uncomfortable, other than we had the Packer game going. So, I mean, yeah, we start, start to finish. As we rolled into Le Mans, you know, at whatever time it was, 11 o'clock, the Packer game was over. So you're looking for little things, but it was just uncomfortable. I couldn't get comfortable. I was moving left and right and forward and backwards. and. It was a tough bus ride from that standpoint, but I'm getting old, so it's, it's harder. Now we're going to jump into our longest one going up to Duluth. So. Yeah, well, I was going to say, you're heading up to Duluth. What, what do you do to pass the time? You've been on, like I said, you've been on a couple of them along the way, and, and you're, you know, well, what do you do to pass the time? That's changed because over the time, you know, the buses have changed, and now we got Wi-Fi on the buses, where before we didn't have Wi-Fi. So when I first started, it was like, who's going to pick the movies? You know, and it's, it's you know, there's a certain level of movies and things that had to get passed through me in order to be up on the screen so everybody could watch them. And now it's like all of a sudden everybody's got a Wi-Fi and so everybody goes into their own space. So you can put a headset on or you can put earplugs in and then you can watch whatever you want to watch. So uh, we had a great trip coming back. Obviously, we won the game, which makes it more enjoyable. But more importantly, we had something that, you know, we could watch that we had an interest in with the Packer game other than the last two or three minutes. And you talked a, a couple of weeks ago about the January doldrums and getting to February. You guys are out like halfway through, almost, you know, two thirds of the way through that part of the bad part of, of winter. You, you know, you feel like you guys are doing well getting through that. Yeah, we we jump into a different phase because obviously school started today, as we all know, as you made your way down to campus, <clears throat> and you, you know, you see the the students moving around, going from class to class, so. Uh, it's interesting because last week, you know, you get to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then you get through the weekend, it's like, it's time for school. You know, they may not want it, but they like structure, and they're used to structure and what we do with them, but they're also used to structure. So they've had a bunch of free time. They've had a chance to spend time at home with their families, but, you know, now it's time to get back into that structure. So with school starting day, we go to, into a better space, which keeps them busy. Sometimes they like that, but it, it, it's good for them. And so that's why they're here to get an education. So they're back in school. We get to practice, you know, you know, late morning, which I think is, is healthy. And then they go about the rest of the day. So we enter into that phase and now we get into a real routine, you know, with only five weekends to go in the regular season and the playoffs. So as I said, you know, as we were talking about that, there's a little light at the tunnel I can see because I, I, I can see the end. And, you know, as we get through this weekend and next weekend, you know, we have six of the last eight games at home, so that makes it a little bit more manageable from the standpoint. I don't have to get on that bus uh, and, and struggle with that bus ride, but uh, it's like they can start to see the light. So after this week in the lake, it's a little more, and then a little more, and then, you know, that excitement comes in where this is a fun part of the year. You know, what you do in the next five weekends is going to be impactful. 
you know, whether within our league, whether it's nationally. So if you do well, you put yourself in position. If you don't do well, then you got to figure some things out late in the process. But as coaches and as players, you know, we're entering that space where, you know, this is why we do what we do. This is fun. 